Um, so, hi, obviously my name is Janja, <laughs> and uh, I'm studying a contemporary art and theatre at, the at the College of Liberal Arts in Belarus, and uh, we study documents in connection with uh, theatre drama creation, but I think it's quite applicable to LARP, and I don't know how to use this thing. Okay, uh, so... First, I'd like to tell you just what uh, documentary theater is. Uh, so it's a theater that uh, uses texts or other documents uh, that were not specifically written for the drama, but were taken from real life. And uh, that's document in a theater lab, oh, theater lab, oh. <laughs> in um, documentary theater context is uh, some medium that holds some information, facts, or thoughts. Uh, it can be a material object or just people talking, like a speech can be in a way a document. Um, yep, and so there are uh, documents can be, as I said, of different types. It can be surveys, polls, or even history books. It can also be mass media materials, um, mm -hmm. like articles, uh, flash news, or yeah, Wikipedia articles. It can be eager documents which is something that a person creates themselves. Like it, can, it can be diary entries or post-its, uh, grocery lists, or, I don't know, <laughs> correspondence. Um, a person themselves, can, uh, people themselves can be documents uh, if uh, they share their, their experiences with other people. Uh, they can do that like through monologues or um, uh, interviews. It it can be like used in a theater of witness. Um, yeah, the venue or site can be also of significance because uh, they can have a history of their own or some atmosphere that can affect the players or the audience. Uh, Ready-made objects, which is objects from real life, not created specifically for uh, for the fiction, but yeah, taken from real life um, and. Like, actually, anything can be a document if uh, approached in the right way. Um, I'd like to... Uh, oh, yeah, now I'll tell some um, principles and ethics of documentary theatre that can be applied in LARP. Uh, for example, don't judge even uh, if you have completely different views. Uh, you have to represent... Um, a person in an objective way, not through uh, how you see them. Uh, and don't, when you ask questions at the interview, for example, you don't expect answers. You ask questions because you don't know the answers. And um, like interviewing is uh, usually done because you don't know the topic. And you, like for, for example, you don't know what uh, people of that social group um, feel or experience. And so, please don't stigmatize people, um, because everyone is a person in the first place. Um, as for some principles of documentary theater that can be applied in LARP, uh, is that uh, it shares ideas that are critical of uh, some real life events or uh, lies that sometimes occur. Uh, it also uh, is to reveal reasons for some events or incidents. Um, it does involve a prelim preliminary research. Uh, for example, one might interview, I don't know, a hundred people uh, to make like nine generalized characters just by highlighting like the most important or the, like the most often recurring um, like uh, phenomena. Um, it also deals with transpersonal conflicts rather than interpersonal ones. It's like not uh, like social economic um, conflicts, like larger than uh, personal conflicts. Um, and while creating some documentary theater, one uh, a person shouldn't uh, add anything like any facts from themselves. Uh, they like they can edit the text a, a bit so that the story be coherent, but uh, not alter the story of the person that uh, they've interviewed, for example. Mm. 
Uh, yeah, so it combines different media, like it can be monologues combined with, uh, I don't know, action and I mean, it just makes it. Um, and now I'd like to talk a bit more about interviewing uh, because um, I think like this um, medium has kind of potential uh, in like character creation. Um, and I'll just maybe give some tips on how to uh, take an interview for documentary <coughs> theater slash LARP uh, because it's a bit different from taking an interview for a newspaper article. Uh, so like, first of all, of course, you choose a subject and think why, uh, why you're interested in this specific subject and whom you would like to interview. Like, uh, Mm, is it like some specific person you know or is it just a representative of the group you've never met and what do you know about that person why would this person be interested in sharing their experiences with you like mm, like invite them to share but of course they might not uh, want to do that if they don't oh well but still try to convince them to share the information with you uh, say why uh, this topic is relevant uh, or important for you, why you think uh, the creation of this uh, play or LARP is important. Mm. Yeah, and of course ask beforehand if they are okay with you recording the interview, because if they are not, and then you'll have to take notes and maybe consider if, you, like, if it's possible to do that. And um, choose time and place. Uh, and it better be uh, the place that the interviewee is choosing so that they will be comfortable in it uh, but also mind that it better be quiet uh, so that the recording will not have street noise um, and stuff. Uh, during the interview, just yeah, be a nice person, don't be late, um, don't be too nervous, although you are, and uh, start some, somehow slow um, with milder questions and don't bombard person from the very first minute with the, the most important question because they're not re yet ready for it. Uh, pay attention to the person you are interviewing, uh, how they feel, uh, what they say, like listen to the person uh, that will uh, help you um, understand them better and maybe ask better questions. Um, yeah. Um, mm, like e also it's nice to have a mild ending with a milder questions again and just don't make the interview last longer than you've promised. Mm, after the interview, once you've uh, typed all the text that you've recorded, uh, it, it's nice to give uh, them to the person you've just interviewed. They might uh, have something to add to the notes. Maybe they've forgotten to tell something or uh, like confused some facts. So there might be some corrections needed. And um, so why am I telling you that? Uh, I think uh, that social documents and documents are a very interesting tool or media to use uh, in LARP. Uh, it can be... Um, like a material or a background for the setting or you can, uh, you can um, create characters based on real life stories or events or it can be a plot somehow connected to the real life. It is also, I think it is also, it might be interesting to you um, like share it during the debrief that it actually was a real story and how people would re react to that and um, yeah, I mean, like, there are many other interesting ways of using that, and I think you're <laughs> creative enough to think of them yourselves. I mean, like, there are just uh, quite a lot of them. Um, I think that's all. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you.